Another very useful analysis method that we have is doing simple linear regression. So in our simple linear regression, our variable of interest is a numerical piece of data. And this time, our predictor variable is numerical as well. So previously, when we were looking at ANOVA data, uh, we were basically using a category to see if, based upon different categories, were there differences in our variable of interest. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, we're going to instead use a predicting variable that's also numerical and see if we can use this predicting variable to predict something about our variable of interest. And so what we see these a lot uh, is done with scatter plots. So we would put our variable of interest, or we, this is also called our response, on our y-axis. Put this right here as response. And this is our predictor. Uh, slash explanatory our explanatory variable and so what simple linear regression is basically saying it's like okay can we take some sort of data and maybe we get some collection and it gets like this and all simple linear says is can we fit a line to this data. Is there some sort of line of best fit that does a good job of predicting what's actually going on? And so that, that's like what our linear regression is actually trying to do. It's trying to take some predictor and make some, inter or some prediction of what the response is going to be. Now when we do these, typically the predicting variable, or once again, we can call this the explanatory, this is usually something that is easy to measure in order to predict something that is hard to measure. Now, while it's not exactly simple linear regression, this same idea is used like all the time in like hospitals, uh, where you know we're trying to predict you know somebody's heart failure thing. So what do we do? Can is, do we have some magical instrument that will predict heart failure? And the answer is no. But what we do have is we can measure things that are related to it. We can measure things like blood pressure. We can measure things like hypertension. There are lots of things that we can measure, and when we measure those things, we can predict something that's hard to, that's actually hard to measure. And so that, that's essentially what we're doing with our analysis. Now, not only can this be a positive relationship, uh, we could also find things that have a negative relationship. Those would both be significant results. Or we might find something where the data, you know, let's just put it up. So this would be a positive relationship as the predictor increases, the response increases. For this guy, if we had something that looked like this, this is a negative relationship. This doesn't mean that it's a bad relationship, it just means that as the predictor increases, the response decreases. And the last one that we have is something like this, where our line is horizontal. This is no relationship.
or as our predictor increases, the response neither increases nor decreases. So when we're, when we're doing this regression analysis, what we are actually interested in, so our variable of interest, or what we are interested in is the slope of, uh, of the line. So previously we were thinking about things like means or proportions. Now what we're interested in is this true slope or new Greek letter is beta and it's specifically beta one or the slope of our of our line. Uh, so that's kind of an introduction into what we are actually doing uh, when we are using the analysis method of simple linear regression.